I'm going to take you back to the care home myself. Oh. All right, done. I can't sustain this work rate. Nobody can. Antibiotics. Oh! Lily? All work and no play makes Taylor a dull girl. You are torturing me here. I have just missed an extremely important meeting because of your incompetence. This is an official verbal warning. What? Go home, Lily. I'm going to call you a taxi. I'm fine. Sure, you don't want to call the police? Nah, I don't want to waste your time. It was just a bar fight, you know. Altercation over a young lady, was it? Yeah, something like that, mate. Well, this is all done. All right, in five days, head to your local GP surgery in the practice nurse. We'll be able to get those out for you. Oh, cheers. Yep, no problem. Can you finish up here? Thanks. Oh, uh, Carl, you will be pleased to know I've appointed myself head of fundraising for your sponsored run. Uh, we've been promised 150 quid already. It's fantastic. Everyone's going to do the bit, right? Yes, I was thinking perhaps I could be your training partner. You know, I've cocked up a fair few miles recently. I can tell you've lost a bit of weight. Yeah. Good on you. You want my top running tip? Uh, well, carb loading, tapering. No, nope. nipple protectors. Right. No, trust me, you know, these boys, they can get a bit chafed after a few miles, especially with these modern nylon fabrics. But uh, those little round uh, plasters do the job perfectly. That is a lovely thought, Mark. Thank you. So, training, yeah? What hurts? Right. Okay, just keep supporting it here for me, okay? Nice and deep breaths. You want to get to the hospital? Your dad will meet you there, okay? This is Connie Beecham. Could I speak to Alfred Maxwell, please? Mate. <laughs> you see the other guy. What happened? Bobby. Ghoul. How much? Nothing heavy. Five grand. <laughs> Nothing heavy? What are you going to do? Chill. I've got a plan. Oh. Look, she thinks I'm at an interview. Hey, she'll go mad if she knows I'm with you, so shush. Charming. Hey, babe. Uh, yeah, fine, they're gonna let us know tomorrow, but there were a lot of candidates, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. Yes, I am coming straight home. Bye. Point. One. We need to clear as many cubicles as we can. And there are no vets in the theatre. What's going on? Shift from hell so far, and I am very glad you're here. Dr Hardy, cubicles, bloods and x-rays, please. Uh, I, I've got four on the go already, and I haven't written any notes yet. Where's Dr Knight? I, I don't know. Staff nurse Chilton, did you not get my memo about eating on duty? I didn't get my lunch break. Well, I don't think anybody has yet. Why? Too busy. You seem to be losing control, Sister Freeman. Do we need to have another conversation? What am 
am I supposed to do exactly? Please, Charlie, tell me. Well, slow down, Speedy. Eh? Just doing my job. Right, ladies and gentlemen, can you move out of the way, please? Out of the way, guys. Thank please. you. Lily? Hey, Lil. What's that? This is Kia. She's dislocated her shoulder. Okay, all right, all right, we've got her now. Here we go. Hey, darling. My name's Dixie. How are you doing? My arm really hurts. My leg, too. All right, well, we'll give you some for the pain in a minute. All right, Lily, I need to have a look at this leg, darling. Let's just treat the girl. Nail, is she KO'd? I don't think so. Come on, Lily. Come on. I didn't see her. She just came off nowhere. All right, don't worry. Try and stay calm, all right? Just have a seat for us. There you go. OK? £150. Mm -hmm. That's great. It all helps. Can't wait to see you in those tiny shorts. Sorry. Hi, Taylor speaking. What? Why? Well, what were his reasons? <sighs> great. Yeah. OK. Bye. What is it? One of my major contributors has just pulled out his sponsorship. There's this boy, Nazir. He needs a heart up urgently. Mm. He's six. Oh, without this, he'll die. I had a cardiac surgeon ready to fly out today. And how much do you need? 15,000. What? 15 grand? I thought the surgeons had donated their time gratis. They do. But then there's his expenses, uh, a local anaesthetist, post-operative care, goes on. Uh, sorry, it's Queen Connie. I've got to get back in, but send me a list of potential donors. If that doesn't work. I'll think of something. All right, leave it with me. Mm. Keep your phone on. Ah, Dr Hardy, can you spare a favour for your brother's fun ring? Uh, yes, sure. Good man. Carl, where have you been? Lunch. I'm glad you managed to find the time. Meanwhile, I've had everything dumped on me. Mr. Chill out. Can I get help here, please? You go, Ethan. You go? I'm a little bit tied up right now. But untie yourself. Fine. Lily. Thanks. OK, what have we got? OK, this is Kia Dehaney. She's 13 years old. She was hit by a motorbike at approximately 30 miles an hour. She's got a laceration to her left leg, complaining of pain in her right leg. Okay, Looks like bad. she's dislocated her left shoulder. She's had Entonox, but she's refused the needle, so no other pain relief given. She's got a GCS of 15, a pulse of 98, BP is 135 over 88. OK, let's get her over, please, on three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> All right, try and keep nice and still for me, sweetheart. Please, let's see her on the way in, and then need to have a word with Kia and Lily. Lily? Is she OK? Well, she was involved. She's just in a bit of a shock. All right, well, I think we should get Mrs Beecham down. OK? What happened? Oh, she was a bit hazy. I don't have to go to step out in front of her. We've contacted Kia's father. Thanks, Lisa. Is my dad here yet? Uh, he'll be here as soon as he can, I'm sure. It's OK, sweetheart. I'm here. My name's Robin. Is there anybody else we can contact? Your mum? She's dead. Sorry. Is that him? Yeah. Uh, probably. Oh, I think you need to go over there, mate. That's cool. Told you. Got a plan. Sell more pictures up production. Right. That'll work. Hey, worry ye not. All will be fine. Do you fancy another beer? Better not. Henpick. Dylan, this is Mr. Duhaney, Kia's dad. Oh, excuse me, where is Kia? Is she OK? Your daughter's suffered a dislocated shoulder and some, some minor bruising, so we're going to send her for an extra. Right. The radiology's backed up, so come through. OK. <laughs> You said she was OK. Daddy. It, it probably looks worse than it is. It hurts so much. OK, well, we're just going to give you a little bit of pain relief, Kia. No! She, she's scared of needles. OK, uh, let's try some intranasal fentanyl. <laughs> when she's calmed down, we'll try again with the cannula. Sure. How long will it take to fix the shoulder? 
Well, as I said, we've got to send her for an X-ray. Oh, come on, she's a child, for goodness sake. <laughs> we will get her seen as soon as possible. You have my word on that. Thank you. Hey, hey. Sweet pea. <laughs> you certainly know how to keep me on my toes, young lady. Somebody hit me, Daddy. She's a doctor here. It wasn't my fault. Is this true? <laughs> we, we can't be certain. Can I speak to her, please, this, uh, this doctor? And she's having treatment herself at the moment, so no, that won't be possible. <laughs> Just keep things moving. I'm going to go and find Lily. Traffic was heavy. <laughs> Hello, little man. Have you been drinking? Well, just for one. Calm the nerves after the interview. And that waster from downstairs. He prefers the term artist. <laughs> and by the way, whatever paint is using, the stench is getting worse. I'll have a word. Did you pick up the nappies? Sorry. Is he okay? He never stops. Well, it changes after that. I don't feel well. I'm going for a lie down. Do you want me to get your mum to have him for a bit? For his sake, you're his dad. Grow up and act like it. We've got this, haven't we, little fella? <laughs> you want to go for a drive? And you've definitely no North Shore headaches. I've told you I'm fine. I just want to go home. Well, you know the drill, darling. I've got to observe you. How's she doing? Uh, yes, yeah, she's some nasty grazes on her leg, but she should be fine. Miss Beecham, how is Kia doing? She's stable. Her father's rather upset, so I need to know what's going on. She said you weren't paying attention. She stepped out of nowhere. I couldn't stop. OK, Lily, if there is any doubt about what happened, then you need to tell me now. I'm sure. I couldn't avoid her. Right. I imagine the police would want to speak to you soon. Keep me up to date with her progress and let me know if I need to change the rotor. Wow. The rotor. Lily's welfare clearly a priority then. the view from our room. Hurry. Two kisses. What room? Hotel. So you booked it. Oh, it's all right for summer, isn't it? Mm, can't spend another night on Captain Redbeard's boat. Yeah, well, just remember you still need to pay rent at our place because me and Lofty are skint. Oh, whatever. Sorry, darling. I had to, uh, from the office. Okay, keep the office informed. How long until you can put a shoulder back? Why don't you just go already? I'll be fine on my own. I'm not going anywhere. We're just waiting for the doctor who's going to perform the procedure. Shouldn't be too long. Then Kia will need a post-reduction x-ray. Should be able to go a couple of hours after that. Thank you. Better let your school know as well that you'll be late today. I'll go and phone them. Whatever, Dad. <sighs> I'll come and find you when we're ready. Drink this. How are you feeling? Fine. Yeah, you're not in any pain. You're very lucky. You know, it, it could have been much, much worse. Kia? Uh, um, there's no change. She's she's still stable. Right. Right, well, um, been a long day. You should you should get some rest. Um, 
Billy, you know, when you left here, you were, you were totally shattered. You shouldn't have been riding. I was OK. Well, you weren't OK, were you? You, you fainted. Is there a possibility that you, that you drifted off just for a second while you were riding? I don't think so. I can't really remember. But you remember somebody stepping out in front of you? I was sure she stepped out. I'm just so tired. Well, why didn't you let me call you a taxi? I'm just so tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know you are. OK. Get some rest. I think she fell asleep. Well, she's exhausted. Yeah, we're all exhausted. This has got to stop, Dylan. <sighs> Serena, it's me. I'm a whole BED. It's no one. Come on. Come on, little man. Right, this can't, can't go on. Do this is ridiculous shit. It's the extra study, the checklist, the Thank pressure. You. you are putting everybody under it. It's got to stop. There's been significant improvement since the last inspection. Is that really all you care about? What about the well-being of your staff? They're on their knees. They're not eating. They're not taking proper breaks. Needs to toughen up. She fell asleep, Connie. Lily fell asleep while she was driving because she is knackered from trying to impress you. She nearly killed herself and a 13-year-old girl, and that is down to you. I need help. OK. Uh, this is Noah. He's nine months old. He's had a seizure. Okay. Well, what's happening to him? We're just about to find out. Have you got any history of epilepsy in your family? Any allergies? I don't know. Is he on any medication? Is he on any medication? No. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. I don't know. I've called his mum. You need to work quickly on this. His temperature's 38.2. Pulse 130. Pupils dilated. Right, let's give him 0 0.7 the razapan, please. Talk screen? Yes, please. All right, sweetheart. Some of the uh, villagers have to trek about three days to get their sick children to the nearest temporary hospital. Did, sorry, did you not hear what I just said? The, the sick and dying children. OK, yeah. Thanks for your time. And enjoy the Maldives. It's great diving this time of year. Yeah, OK. Idiot. Box and night? No idea. Right. Um, have we got consent? Yes. Right, we need to we need to relocate the shoulder, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look, the sooner we get this done, the sooner you can get out of here. And go back to boarding school. Do you want to wait for your dad? No, serves him right. You sure? Yeah, do it. Hi. Right. The doctor's going to give you something now. It's going to make you feel a little bit drowsy, all right? Can I just confirm the Eccles Lane address? It's okay, little man. Right, we're at a loss as to why he had the seizure, so I'm going to refer him to paediatrics and keep him in overnight. <gasps> Is he OK? He's stable. He's stable, but uh, he needs some more tests. What have you done? This isn't my fault. Nothing ever is. The job centre called, asked why you didn't turn up to your interview. Getting drunk is clearly more important than providing for your own family. That's enough. Enough, OK? Thank you. Right, can you tell me, has he had a temperature? Has he been ill? Has he had a rash? <laughs> no, he's just crying all the time. Are you feeling OK? okay. <sighs> yeah, but... Got a bit of a head headache. <sighs> OK, love to I'm going to go and chase the baby's results. OK. Hey. Hey, darling, it's okay. Daddy's here. Why is she here? Lily. She's the one who ran me over. Would you like to tell me exactly what happened out there? I am. I don't know. It was. It was a blur. I was tired. 
You were driving tired. Okay, Lily, this isn't the best place. Get out. I just came to see your daughter. I want to know she's okay. No, she's not okay. And this is highly inappropriate. She was all alone. So, you want her to change her story? No. Right, come on. Look, please, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go and get you a cup of tea, eh? Where's Mrs. Beecham? Okay. Temperature's still quite high. Right, we'll get the blood sent off for analysis. Connie, can I have a word? The baby's urine sample shows traces of amphetamine in his system. All right. Let's alert social services and not say anything to the parents. Just for a moment, please. I am going to organise a toxicology test, if that's okay, just to cover all bases. Thank you. Mrs. Beecham. Yeah. I just want to warn you. About what? Kia's father. I might have made things worse. Rita, can you organise a urine tox screen, please, while I put out another fire? After I've spoken to Mr. Dehaney, I want you to explain in writing why you lied to me. Charlie? Yeah? Can you get the nursing team together? Tell them I want a word with them. Ten minutes in the staff room. Ten minutes. I'll get right on it. What's happened? Just had a text from one of my colleagues in India. We might have to close the project. I can't believe it. This is everything I've worked for. Baby. I've got the money. What? How? Yeah, they, um, there's a trust fund for things like this, and I made a compelling case to the board, and they decided to donate the money. So they're going to transfer it in a couple of hours. I hope they can do it that quick. Yeah, they deal with this stuff all the time. They know how important it is. And it's 100%? Yeah, 100%. <gasps> you are my hero. <laughs> I better go and find the surgeon. Turn to pack his back. Do it. <laughs> You're doctors. But... You're supposed to help people, not nearly kill them. It was an accident. Your doctor was so overworked she couldn't stay awake and yet still decided to drive home. That's no accident, that's culpability. She's liable, Mrs. Beecham. And so are you. Okay, Mr. Dehaney, whatever you feel you need to do. Won't get away with this, darling. So you're staying? You're not going to Dubai? I have to. I have to work. Take me with you then. But we've been through this. You've got school. <sighs> Two sex, darling. Yep. Oh, nice one, Charlie. OK, I'll be brief. This hospital has got a duty of care to you. And Connie, she doesn't give a damn about understaffing, fatigue. Lily had a serious accident because she was tired, putting her life and the life of a child in danger. And she is the one getting the blame. We have to make a stand. Sorry, are we talking about a strike here? Because we'll have to consult with the union. Oh, no, 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 Mac. I just want us all to work within our pay grade, OK? So if the doctors want anything additional, like extra bloods, clearing up urine, they can do it themselves. Uh, Lily is a junior doctor, not a nurse. I know. But hopefully this will force Connie to back down. I mean, we've got to do something. But whatever you do, don't ever, ever put a patient at risk. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. OK, thank you. Connie's going to flip. Massively.
Rita, there's still some vomit in HTC. You could one of your staff clean it up, please? OK, um, it's not a nurse's job, but I'm very happy to get a cleaner for you. It's just a wipe down. No, I'm sorry. Excuse me? Ethan. Yeah? Clean the cubicle. Serena, your top screen has come back with evidence of amphetamine in your system. No, I, I don't. Sorry, tell him. I thought you'd stopped. I don't do drugs. Not since I'd know her. I'm leaving. We're leaving. That's really not a good idea. I'm not going to lay it whilst you accuse me of being some sort of junkie. We need to admit, Noah. <laughs> It's my baby, you can't stop me from going. Yes, I can. We found evidence of amphetamine in his urine. What? He's had a massive seizure. All right, I'm going to call security. You're setting me up! What have you done? Nothing! I, I didn't do anything! You drugged our baby! No! I wouldn't! Sorry, believe me! He was with you! He was only with you! It's my baby! Give me my baby! Don't kill him! I've got to take him to paediatrics to be Please, observed. Stop. I'll arrange for a scene later. Give me my baby! We need to keep Noah in for a few nights, at least. Why don't you go home and pick up his favourite blanket or toy? Yeah. Yeah. I'll stop. That's fine. All clear. I'll call back later. Thank you. Thanks. How are you doing? I'm finished, Ethan. It's over. It's over. Hey, you know, that's... Do you, do you want me to get Robin or someone? Four set of bloods for Mr. Peters, please. Sorry, but are you too busy to do it yourself? No. Good. Speech Um, there's this uh, charity that I've been working with that's here, a bit of a financial snag. Just wondering if the powers upstairs might want to make a donation. Really? Yeah, it's for a um, child in India that uh, desperately needs heart surgery. No. Where are we at with Lily? Uh, the breathalyzer was clear, but the police still want to talk to her. Yeah. Oh, Lofty, could you take Mr. Finch to radiology, please? Uh, I think you should wait for a porter. It's not my job. Right. I... Serving a high tea. No. Look at that. Oh. Hey! How you doing? Uh, let me get you something for that rash, all right? Thank you. Um, can I? Sorry, I'm just waiting for a patient. Thanks. What are you doing? Go away. List. What are you doing with this? None of your business. Uh... What's wrong? 
My leg. Right, let me have a look. Just keep waiting for me to. Ethan. Hey, bro. How's things, right? Ah, the great Houdini. That's funny. Um, just wondering, could you lend me some money? What now? Uh, it's for Taylor's charity. Of course it is. No, 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 it is, actually. Um, they might have to close down her project in India. Um, I applied for a loan, but they knocked me back. And you're surprised with your credit history because... Please? How much is it? 15K? You are kidding. And no, you're not. Look, I can pay it back. Carl, you can't keep running to me for money because you blew your inheritance. Oh, come on. It's really important to me. No! No way! <laughs> yeah, 100 litres. Yeah, I know you delivered yesterday, but there's been an increase in demand as of today. Great. Two hours. Cheers. Yes, cash. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Mike, come on. I'm busy. Work. Yeah, sorry, I, I just need to ask you... Well, what is it? Come on, I'm in the middle of spraying. Has Serena had any gear off you lately? No, not for ages. Why? Nothing. I'll see you later, yeah? All right. She... she started industrial action without union endorsement. She could lose her nursing registration. That would be the end of her career. No. Come on. It's an unofficial work to rule, if that. She's looking out for her staff. I'm looking out for the department. Yes. But the feeling is you are pushing people too hard. Oh, come on, Charlie, they don't even match the hours we used to do. This place needs to improve. OK. But can you tell me how you're going to do that when, from what I see, nobody's talking to you? People are affected by the Lily situation. She was exhausted. It's not my fault. You sure about that? Because that's not the feeling out there. Alfred, actually. Yeah, right, sorry. Are you, are you joining us for the meeting, or...? Uh... It's not much of a meeting. Well, we try and mix it up, you know, talks, discussions. This one's a quiz. Are you sure? My team could really do with the extra help. Alfie, before you go, what's the capital of Colombia? How much have I missed? Not a lot. Just the geography round. What are you doing in here? Excuse me, sir. Really, what have we got? It looks like acute compartment syndrome. The painkillers must be masking it. OK. Uh, Kia, this is likely to hurt quite a bit. <laughs> it's OK, darling. It's OK, I'm here. I'm here. OK, can we fast beat the vascular surgeons, please? Why does she need an operation? Well, the leg is swollen because the blood isn't flowing properly. We need to operate so that we can prevent any permanent tissue damage. Daddy, I'm scared. The surgeons are tied up in theatre. They'll be about 40 minutes. The pain won't last much longer, I well, promise. The foot looks ischemic. We, we can't wait. Right, can we find Dr Knight, please, wherever he is? I need him to assist and prepare the equipment for a fasciotomy, please. I need to ask you to wait outside. Ooh. Oh, Daddy! It's all right, darling. We're just outside. Just here. As soon as they know anything, they'll come and tell us. <laughs> 
You okay? Yeah, well, I want to be. Well, if we're going to continue working together, then some form of communication might be useful, don't you think? I think I prefer to save lives than sit talking. Boss. Ian! What are you doing? You know we've got to wait for the fire crew. Bix, there could be a family in here burning to death. If you want to wait, wait. Right, fine. Fine, but you follow me and you do exactly as I say. Ah, uh, Doc, I got 20 quid off Noel, and I'm going to go and see Mrs Beecham, see if I can tap her up for a few bob. Look, Mac, the run's off. Why? Well, because that money's not even going to scratch the surface. All right, I'm sorry. Please. Yes, Caleb, you can borrow my laptop. I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd find a reason to begrudge me this too. Uh, I forgot my deodorant. Do you mind if I borrow some? Anything else? I'm a little busy today. I I'm gonna put it back, all right? Promise. Yes, do what you want. Thanks. Uh, Cal, sorry, we need you. her too. You won't. Oh, hello, Dr. Knight. Have you met your patients? What's happened? I just... Get your gown on. I'm about to do the first incision. Right. Why uh, was she on her own? She was trying to hide this. I think she'd do anything to make you stay. She's, um... done things like this before. Run away. Feigned illness. I'm worried this wasn't an accident. Straight through to Reese, Architect. Okay, this is Mike Levin, 44, and was caught inside a house which exploded, probably due to unspecific chemicals. He's got uh, full thickness burns to his chest. Mike? No other obvious injuries. His Mike, airway is clear up? with a GCS of 15, pulse is 90, BP is 158 over 94 with SATs of 94. And his rest of the Sorry, if you could just hang back for a minute. Please, just be a minute. 250 of saline. Right, Mike, I need you to wiggle your bum over to the other bed, please, sweetheart. Nice and gently. Oh. Okay? Mm. Okay. That's it. Oh. There you go. Good. Good. I'll do primary survey. Charlie, oh. get a second line in, please. Let's keep pushing fluids. What's that smell? There's a sort of chemical mm. smell. I'm not sure yet. Waiting for the fire boys to do their analysis. All right, you need to uh, shower and change here. No, you're all right. We'll do it back a bit. No, you need to get checked over. No, Miss Speech, and we're fine. Please. Got enough staffing issues today. Just try to get them booked in. All right, kids, don't be awkward. Come on now. Uh, Can you get them booked in? Uh, 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 right, let's have a look at this uh, chest. This is Dr. Knight. Hi. Look, she's a bit groggy, but she's doing well. Yeah, and the surgeon's on the way down to take her to theatre. But she's, um. She's out of danger. Yeah, she is. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, sweet pea. <laughs> did you, um, did you step into the road to stop me going? You're not going to get into any trouble, but I, I need to know. <sighs> You're coming home. No more Dubai, no more boarding school. Just me and you. I love you so much. Dr. 
Joe. Thank you. So you're off the hook? It doesn't change anything. I'm breathing. I've told you I'm fine. Okay, then humor me. He's just doing his job. And out. Right, your chest sounds fine. You're fine. Right, that was the police. The setup suggests he's cooking methamphetamine. Crystal meth? Where was this lab? Uh, ground floor flat, Eccles Lane. Do you mind? Sure. Right, can we get back to work? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, now that we know what was in there, we're going to have to keep you in, um, run some bloods and, and, and monitor you for a bit. You might have been exposed to waste material. Excuse me? Well, a bit reckless, wasn't it? Steaming into that flat without assessing the situation properly. Speaking with the relevant authorities. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. Hey, your words, not mine. Do you really want to work here, Ian? Do you? I don't know. You live here uh, full time? I do. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. I've got a lot of family around me. A blessing. Yeah. Uh, what is it that you teach? Uh, modern American history and film. And you were a uh, surgeon. <laughs> I taught in my latter years until I was unable to. It really is a bitch of a disease, isn't it? How do you know my name? Hey, I've seen you before, at a meeting. No. Someone suggested I attend today. Mrs. Connie Beecham. She just rang me on the off chance. She said you might be popping along and to say hello. <laughs> she had no right. Come on, Alfie. It's nice to have people looking out for you. It's no bad thing, is it? Listen, I've roped an old colleague into giving a talk at the Flynn Vale home next week. You should come. Pick you up in the car. What do you say? OK. Connie? Chemicals from the blast, it was a meth lab, happened at the same address where Serena and the baby live. Flat below. It'll be all right, you know. No. Is it not? No, he's fine. That baby nearly died because of you. What? Hmm? What are you talking about? Your friend here has been cooking methamphetamine. And the fumes only go one way up. Up into your home. That is nonsense. So effectively, Serena and Noah have been inhaling drugs. <laughs> no, that's not true. Do you know what? I'm not interested. But I'm sure the police will be. Mike? I don't know what she's talking about. Mike. Mike, look at me. They're accusing Serena of drugging our baby. If you've got an ounce of decency left in you, The money. It, it, it was fine until I started making bigger batches last week. I never thought I'd hurt them. Bobby was gonna kill me if I didn't get a five oh, chain to it. Right. Okay. Plastics are ready. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, please. Give me best, mate. Come on. you want? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Your neighbours have been running some kind of drug slab. Mine was cooking crystal meth. I didn't know. I swear. And we think the fumes were travelling up to your flat. That's what the smell was. It wasn't for his artwork. It's for his drugs. And we're pretty sure that the amphetamines found in yours and Noah's system are a result of passive inflation. <laughs> Serena, <laughs> Serena, what I said, it, it was terrible. You've got every right to hate me. I don't blame you. So you know it wasn't me? We do, darling. 
social services will still want to talk to you, but it's only to make sure that both you and Noah have got somewhere safe to stay. I'll look after you both, I promise. Keep you safe up. I'll make sure nothing will ever happen to you again. Serena, we can, we can be a proper family. Not just the three of us. I can change, Serena. I can be a... I can be a proper dad. You accuse me. I know. <laughs> I know I did. Can I see him? Of course you can. <laughs> you come in. Didn't want to waste the water. Oh, okay. oh, I will never unsee that. Yeah, obviously you'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> What's it worth? Price of a pizza. And doubles. And a bottle of wine. Yeah. Uh, Why don't you stay at mine for a couple of days? I'm fine. Up, up the chill. Uh, I have asked a mate of mine who's got a pickup truck to fetch your bike. It's in his garage. Would you like me to bring it in for you tomorrow? Thank you, but I won't be here. Why not? I'm leaving. Dr. Chow. Kia's father has dropped the complaint and apologised. Oh, well, that's good. I let you down, Mrs. Beecham. Listen, I don't want this and I don't want to lose you. Why don't you go home, have a couple of days rest, get yourself better, and then I want you back at work. Yes. This department needs you. Lily, I have to be able to trust you. You can. Good night. So, I'll bring that bike in for you, shall I? We, um, we worked well together this afternoon. It's called patient care, Connie. Nothing's changed. See ya. Alfred Maxwell gets these. No problem, thank you. 